Oh man, what a great day. I'm out at Crowder's. So every year for my birthday, I try to do something. I just push myself. Multiple weeks since I've ran or done anything. So I'm out at Crowder's Mountain, going from Crowder's to Pinnacle and back. May not be the smartest thing, but it's super challenging because I'm injured. So we're going up. Oh man, look at that. What a beautiful morning. And now we head that way. So every year I try to do a birthday adventure. There's a lot of reasons behind it, but one, I try to do something where I have to push myself and I feel proud of myself. I'll get to that a little bit later, but I'll tell you a little bit about the adventures that I've had over the last few years. When I started doing this, I went up on my birthday weekend to the Blue Ridge Parkway. Got a campsite at the Julian Price Park. Took my bike and camped out. Rode 35 miles the first day. Second day I was planning to do 100. I get up there, I go right to the viaduct at night to go open my spaghetti, sit on the car on one of the overlooks, and just eat, really enjoy life. Well, while I was up there, I met an extremely nice uh, elderly couple from Charlotte. They had a house up there, and through conversation, they found out that I was camping. He was a cyclist. He asked me if I would come to their house and sleep in one of their spare bedrooms instead of uh, sleeping in a tent, and he would get up and ride bikes with me the next morning. I'm not lying, this is like 100% serious. I still go back to their house and, and chat with them up in Blowing Rock. Unbelievable experience. Super grateful, that was the start of it. Came away super grateful. The second year, I did another crazy challenge where I parked my truck in Asheville, rode from Asheville to Boone on the Blue Ridge Parkway. About 90, 95 miles one way. I rode there and back. Second day, it rained the entire day. Lost my cell phone, lost my wallet. Get back to the truck. Luckily, left my keys at the truck. So I was able to drive home. I was able to get water, but no food all the way home. Barely had enough gas. Ran out of gas, turning onto my street. Crazy story, love it. You'll notice I love doing things about the story. Road to Florida from North Carolina with John Gordon, Jonathan Fariotti, Andy Gordon, and uh, Paul Gordon. First real bike packing trip, 410 miles. Epic adventure. Oh man, so much fun. The reason why I do these is to honestly just feel proud of myself on my birthday. Our family doesn't have a great track record of celebrating or feeling proud of themselves on their birthday. And it's my way of breaking it. It's just what I do. So now we keep running. down oh freaking love it i love that section my good buddy jonathan fariati at the ultra running company 
which where I get these new shorts. Thanks to Jonathan and Amy for helping my wife pick these out. I tried them today. Super level. Jonathan is so fast on the downhills. He's just fun to watch. Uh, and really to try to observe his technique. Man, I just love it. I don't get to run with him a lot. Our lives don't cross paths like they used to. But man, he's a good dude. Oh man, this is another one of my favorites. Super low rock count, but enough that you just kind of have to focus. So today's challenge is to do something that you are proud of yourself for doing. For a lot of people, it's hard. It's just, what do I do? It's cheesy. I do this a lot. Stacking wins, it's help to change your mood. Just find something that you're proud of yourself for doing and go do it. And today, I'm out at Crowder's and I am climbed to the top of Pinnacle from Crowder's and now I'm running back. It's just doing something that you're proud of. Seriously, go out and do it. Be proud of yourself today. It's a mood changer. section of trail okay well I was able to get some water and uh, now we head back to the other side it is humid today so I started right there and ran there and now I'm headed back to there. Let's see how quick we can make it up that. Ready? And go.
I made it to the radio tower. I think I have like a mile and a half or something left. What an epic adventure today. She's 10 miles in. Just loving life. Had a lot of hurdles to overcome today, but today I'm 37. Uh, this epic birthday adventure, something I love doing. I challenge you to do it. It's really good. Just do something on your birthday you're proud of. But year 37 for me, something that I've been focused on and I'm gonna be focusing on very intently this year is finishing strong. You know, a lot of times we very quickly forget the first mile or forget the start of whatever we're doing. But what we do remember is the last mile. You know, a lot of times we try to, howdy guys, a lot of times we just try to get it across the line. Just start strong and just want to finish. But the thing that we remember is crossing the line. And uh, not all of them are clean or pretty. Some of them are just squeaking across the line, but I am going to try to finish strong in whatever I do in this 37th year of my life. I'm gonna focus more on the ending, on the getting across the finish line. Today, man, I really focused on the ending of this. It's cramping, hurting, uh, severe pain in my leg. I wanna finish strong. I don't remember the first mile. I don't remember when I was fresh. I remember at the end, I'm almost back to the parking lot. And I'm gonna remember that. I'm not gonna remember any of the rest. So, let's focus on the end. Let's focus on crossing the finish and doing it well this year. Oh, yes.